here at the International Home and Houseware Show. I'm Greg Sleater with Home World Business. Here with Tom Morabelli, Senior Vice President, Global Trend and Design for Lifetime Brands. Tom, thanks for joining us today. Uh, it's a pleasure. Tom just finished a uh, presentation uh, in the South Hall here this morning for many of the attendees talking about the trends he's seeing uh, in the housewares industry. Um, Tom, as we look at 2010 and beyond, uh, the economy obviously is still a major focus. As somebody who focuses on trend and design, how is the economy really impacting what you're seeing out there in terms of product design in the housewares market? Well, I think that people are demanding a lot more of the product that they do buy. I think they're more careful about they're more careful about the comparisons they make in, in terms of what the product offers, what the different brands offer. Uh, durability has become an extremely important part of the value equation, so people are really looking at how long am I going to be holding on to this? Is it something that, you know, I don't want to be buying a peeler that I'm going to be replacing in, in a year and a half. So um, people are willing to pay uh, a higher price for something that they perceive is a longer term, you know, own, and also, uh, really a part of that has been about the the um, sustainability equation because people don't want to be tossing gadgets or other household products into you know into a landfill they want something that's going to last another important part of the value equation has really been color mm -hmm. color has become extremely important uh, in terms of what consumers want because the home the, the kitchen and the great room of the home, people are spending a tremendous amount of time there. The average um, American makes between five and seven meals there a week. Um, the children are doing their homework there. Parents are paying their bills there. The kitchen and the, that whole kitchen and uh, dining area, uh, as more than half of consumers say that they want it to be no walls between the kitchen and the dining area. So that means having products that have some decorative value, and that means color's important, color's important again. Within the realm of color, what are you seeing as some of the hot uh, colors, shades coming out, uh, not only for this year, but obviously as we start to look into 2011 as well? Well, I think some of the colors, I mean, you, you'll see some of them here, but we have uh, Wineberry, there's a, you know, a fuchsia, Purples are as important in home as they were in fashion last year, and they're still continuing in fashion. Red is always a staple. You know, it's funny, we don't think of red as a neutral, but in the kitchen, in the home area, red is probably our number one color um, uh, across brands. People just love it. So, uh, but you know, the more fashionable colors, and also accented by a neutral. Steel and steel um, looks are also there some of the things that we've uh, introduced this year and we're continue to, continuing to expand on. Uh, color plays a role when enticing the consumer to make a purchase. Uh, we've also seen functionality obviously always been a part, but I think more of a part uh, in that role of enticing that consumer who's a little holding, you know, holding those purse strings tight to make that purchase. In terms of functionality, um, anything you see, any major changes in the functionality of products that are coming out on the marketplace? Well, I think people want more than just a single function in pieces, wherever possible. They want pieces to have a multifunction. You know, I mean, I think some of the products that, and it's not just our products, but I think, uh, you know, some of the products that we've introduced, like peelers that incorporate three blades into a single peeler, you know, again, it's a part of the value equation to offer multiple functions, but it's also a part of space savings. You know, why do I need a peeler for tomatoes and a peeler for vegetables and a peeler for fruit? Why can I have those three different blades in one object? Why do I need a cutting board that you know uh, that has a you know and, and have to use a separate piece to scrape that cutting board why can't the cutting board include a mandolin a chopper or a scraper inside you know uh, we also have another peeler that I think is, is just amazing to me it's a peeler that actually has a, a chamber that captures the peel as it comes off so you know we're always we're trying to take a part of the uh, you know, make a part of the value equation, saving time by eliminating a part of the process. You know, we all peel a potato or peel a carrot into the sink and, you know, you're like then another part of the process is cleaning all of that garbage out and throwing it someplace else and then washing your hands off and, you know, going back to square one. And that's not, that's not what people want to do anymore. They want a piece that will help make that easier. And, uh, you know, uh, so functionality, multifunction, super important, objects that create, uh, have uh, and and part of function is also 
really decorative value. Mm -hmm. So it's bringing those two things into 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 the kitchen gadget and into the housewares area, which really in the past have not been so important. People were about quantity and not necessarily, you know, they didn't mind buying five tools, you know, but now they want more out of a single tool. Great. Well, Tom, Tom Rabelli, thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank you.